So welcome back to the YouTube channel. Welcome back to this luck journey. Oh, it's been so long, man. I know you guys have been waiting, man. You guys are probably thinking I've abandoned this channel. I have not abandoned it. I took a long hiatus, you understand? And sometimes, you know when you're going through life, you have to take a long hiatus from stuff. But in all honesty, no jokes, man. I did actually take a really long um, hiatus from YouTube. Um, I kind of just kind of like shifted my, my attention span to TikTok. Um, and just kind of started making vlog videos because I felt like it was just so easier to do. Like I swear, like now that it, now I can create videos on my phone and edit it on my phone and then post it straight to YouTube. Now I think things are gonna be a lot more easier to make videos. Um, but before I used to have to record on a camera, transfer that to the computer, and then edit it on Premiere Pro and then post for YouTube. It was killing me. Ah, killing me. I couldn't do it anymore, man. But yeah, literally apart from that. Um, um, life, yeah, life was literally just life in man. Um, last, what, last eight months ago? I think it's been about eight months or, yeah, I think it's been about eight months since I've been on YouTube, um, since I've last been on YouTube. And I got a new job. Um, that also took my energy because um, I'm a social media manager. Um, so there was a lot of things I was doing that was just too strenuous um, to then do that again for my page. It was just too much. Um, so I'd say that new job had a big impact on it. Also my mental health. Also being in a bit of a limbo in that kind of sense of not knowing what else is next and what to do. I felt like the business that I put out um, earlier on last year was doing okay, but I wanted it to stand for more, which I'm gonna talk later on in this video um, about the rebranding and the relaunch. But in all honesty, I literally just like lost motivation. Like you understand that my name is called Motivated by E, so it doesn't make sense. That should be filled with motivation. But sometimes your strongest, listen, the strongest warriors, sometimes they need inspiration. They need motivation to keep doing what they do in it. Um, and that's something that I just kind of fell short on and I just needed time to just kind of like recoup, come back. Because I know with YouTube, like, I can speak like this for, for hours. Like I should be, I should be, I should be streaming on Twitch. Cause I could talk for this for hours. And I could talk about every single topic you can think of. Um, but it was one of those ones where I just needed time and time to just reflect, come back, and now I'm back. You feel me? And I know you guys are waiting for this. So it's look, hey, this this is this is the equivalent to woofing. Right now I am woofing like a motherfucker. Like I haven't got a retwist in six months because of various reasons. Um so yeah, let's check out the hair. You feel me? Let's check out the hair. <clears throat> so right now. I know you guys are probably wondering how long is his hair right now. My hair is pretty damn long. Shake your dreads, shake your dreads, shake your dreads. So for those of you that were following my journey, like my hair is so matted right now, so it's not even the full length. Like look at that. It's not even the full length right now. Like some hairs are just like stuck to each other like that. I'm pulling that one and this one's coming up. Yeah, so the full length, you don't really see the full length, but look at that from the front. If I separate these two, look at that from the front, that is crazy. That is crazy, it's touching my chin right now. Before, I think the last video I made, it was like up here. I think my hair was like up here, if not up here. So we've gained a good like maybe three, four inches of growth. Um, when my hair is like wet, it's ridiculous. Like my when my hair is wet, it's like touching down here, which is mad. Believe me, like I'm not gonna lie, it's touching down here. And I, I always told myself, when my locks get to my shoulders, I'm gonna chop them off. I mean, not chop them off, but I'm gonna trim it at least. So it stays around this kind of like length um, up here. Um, but, you know, you know, I might not, I might keep it, keep it long. So this is something about having long locks, man. It just shows that level of maturity, man. I've been in this game for a long time. I've been here, you understand? That's what it just shows, man. Like if I was to ever chop it down and I have someone that has like been on their journey like longer than me or even close to me and they're like, oh, my hair is longer than yours. I'm like, listen, please. I chopped off like three or four inches. Um, I know I've got a bit of lint here. I can see it in the camera. What the fuck? Jeez. This camera playing, playing tricks on me. I think it's this one. Yeah, I've got a bit of lint. Um, but yeah, man, hey, this is, this is my length. This is... This is literally three years locked, man. I'm gonna show you guys some in-depth um, shots as I normally do, as I'm talking about my hair. Oof, boy. 
the retwist is coming at the end of this month. Um, I've got so much things planned. I was going to keep it going for another seven months without a retwist, but I think that was a... I mean, not another seven months. I was going to push it to seven months and get a retwist like around mid-May because I've got a hair and beauty show um, where I'm going to be showcasing my re um, rebranded um, business. But then I was just like, you know what, fuck it. I've got a couple events that I need to go to in the early, like early May. And I've got a couple like collaborations and stuff like that. So I was just like, let me just look fresh for the month of May. And then I've got a holiday on June. So I don't know how that's gonna look, but what I could do is do a twist out for that holiday in May and just wear like my hair back because I need to show off my tats, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get another tattoo. I've got one hair. I've got one hair right here. I'm gonna get another one down here, hopefully at the end of this month as well. It's gonna be a serious cash loss this month, but it's all gonna be worth it. Let's talk about, let's talk about this hair. Okay, so three years locked, like, okay, how, how does it feel? Cause I know I did like a big transformation video for the first year, second year. Now we're three years in. Um, I look like a Rastafarian right now. I look like one of, one of Bomali's siblings, but I love the I love the naturalness of it, um, but yeah, how does it feel? It feels pretty much the same, honestly. Like um, now that my locks are a bit more longer, like I said, you command a different type of energy. You have a different type of like respect from people. Um, things just look better. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Things just look better. Like I remember I said this when my hair was like I'd say eight months in, nine months in. I was just like, wait, hold up. I, I can feel it now. I can feel. I can see the. I can. I can feel the riz starting to grow within me. But literally, like now, it's just like you just command a different type of energy. Especially when I get my two strand twist. Boy, when I get my two strand twist, it's crazy. It is so crazy. But three years locked, man. You start to you start to question how long left or how long you are going to go down this path. Um, and I think that's what starts to get into your mind when you're, when you're this far along in your lock journey. It's such a part of your identity, big part of your identity. Like right now, I think there was times where I was, I was looking to cut my hair and I was just like, would people still know me as who I am right now? Or like, would they have a different impression of me? Um, so yeah, your locks really do become a part of your identity. And it's not something that I'm scared to like um, um, admit or whatever it is, but like I would literally, if I had to cut my hair, like, it would be one of the biggest things that would be on my mind. I'd be like, damn, am I still gonna be the same person? Am I gonna, feel people gonna see me the same? Um, so yeah, now that's what you have to kind of like get used to when you're three years in, because it's 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 been a journey, now it's part of you now. Um, so I've always told myself my, my locks, I grew my locks because of transitions in my life. Uh, my locks represent transitions. So when I do become a husband, when I do become a father, I will restart. Um, naturally, I'll just cut my hair and just restart. Um, and not necessarily like restart and get locks again, but maybe just cut my hair, see how I feel, and then um, start growing it back out again, if I can grow hair at that age. But um, it's around the corner, it's around the corner. I'm, I'm quite an old guy now. Um, so yeah, that's always been the thing. So um, if for, for, the, for those of you guys that are like literally growing your hair right now, they've had, like, had your locks in for two years plus, five years plus, like, you can resonate with me. You can tell me down in the comments how it's affected your identity in a positive and a negative way at the same time. Um, so yeah. Um, then, then another reason why I have not got a retwist in six months, as you can tell, like I've had in other videos, I've been thinning. Oh my god, the thinning is atrocious, and I'm gonna show you in the videos as well, so you can see the thinning at my top of my head is getting so bad, like. Um, I've had it. I've had it diagnosed. So it's a bit of tractional alopecia. So I don't know if you guys have been if you guys have been following my journey. Um, you must have heard me say um, that whenever I get a retwist or whenever I get like a style, like my head, my head will just be tender. Like things will just hurt so much, and, I, and I'll do, it'll be like three weeks after a retwist, and my hair, my head is my scalp is still sore, and that's because my scalp didn't like the tension. It didn't like um, the the style that I was putting it in. Even though, even though I only got two strand twist, it still didn't like that. Um, so the, yeah, the doctors, because I work at a, I work at an aesthetic clinic. Um, so we, I see every, I see hair loss um, patients all the time. Like people come in and out talking about hair loss. The doctors, we do multiple videos on, on on hair loss and stuff like that. So I know literally everything to do with hair loss, 
meal pattern, bonus, all of that stuff. So I've got my hair diagnosed multiple times um, and it's a bit of tractional alopecia and um, male pattern boneless. Now, I already knew my hair in the middle grows slowly. Um, that's the male pattern bonus. Like that's the, that's the area where I'm gonna start to bold um, as I get older. Um, then the traction alopecia obviously is not helping as well. That's from the actual retwisting. So I remember I had about two to three locks that were just like very thin. These ones right here, very, very thin. As you can see, look at that. That one's literally like so thin right there. Um, and it's still hanging on to their life. So I've had I've had that lock for a long time and it's just managed. Like it's long as hell, like it's not it's not a short lock. Like look at it's probably one of the longest locks I've got. Like it's not even in the screen. Like it's actually long as hell. Um so it survived that long, but at the same time, every single time I go to get my um, I go to a loctician and they retwist it, their that area of the hair doesn't want to mesh, it doesn't want to lock with the other hairs. So what it does, it breaks away. Um, so that's where I'm getting, you see in that area is very sparse because those hairs, they're, they're not dealing with tension. <laughs> the moment they feel tension, they break away. Um, and that's obviously due to the DHT um, hormone, um, which is a breakdown of testosterone um, that happens and occurs in men um, as the ages go on. And this hormone sits in the under the follicle and suffocates the, the, the vessels that provide a strong, that, that provide um, nutrients and blood flow to your follicles. So what happens as they suffocate in that area, the hair follicles become thinner, you understand? So as you're growing your hair more, you're realizing, whoa, what's going on? My hair's getting thin in that area until it's completely done, you understand? Um, but that obviously happens um, at a later stage. It could be sped up through different things and it could be slowed down through different things as well. So right now I'm producing a product solely for that. It's a hair, it's a hair oil right now. Um, it's got DHT blocker, soul palmetto in it. It's also got biotin in it, caffeine, you understand, rosemary oil, lavender. I made sure to pour eight essential oils along with two carrier oils, coconut oil and a hobo oil. So it's lightweight, good to use, day-to-day -day use, and that's going to slow down the levels of DHT in your scalp and hopefully, you understand, slow down your thinning and boldness. So I'm just literally all hands in that right now. Um, I'm not worried. Like, at first, when I looked at it, I was like, oh my God, like... What the fuck? How am I gonna deal with this? Like my head's bowling. Um, but then again, I looked at it and I was just like, mm, it's not that bad. Like I can, I've got a dermal stamp. I'm gonna start using a dermal stamp to build up that area. Um, but it made me realize that I don't need to get a retwist as often. Um, like I already realized that as well, but it made me realize um, even more that I don't need to. Um, and yeah, that's just the main important thing, honestly. Um, less styles, rocking my hair out more less tying my hair up as well. Um, and just, just kind of like staying confident, you know, in, staying confident in your identity because there's a lot of people that come to me, people come to me day to day um, and talk about their complaints about hair loss, balding. I've had people that are like even younger than me. You know, I'm, t I'm 28. Um, I've had people that are like 21, 19, suffering with baldness, suffering with tractional alopecia. Um, so it's a big thing, very, very big thing in the community, man. It needs to be talked about. So hopefully I can shed light on it. I've got a range of videos that I want to be doing in the future, talking about everything to do with hair. Like, I, like I know I said a couple things and people were just like, huh, what's, what's this, what's that? But it's all got to do with hair, trust me. Like I've, I've worked in that clinic, my clinic for so long now, eight months, and I've just learned so much about hair, so much about nutrition, so much about just literally everything that can benefit you. So I'm going to start doing more in-depth videos um, they're not going to be as long as this, so don't worry about it. They're going to be like maybe three, four minutes long, but it's going to be explaining things like um, what does biotin do? What does rosemary oil do? What does um, shampoo in your hair every single day do to your scalp? Like, um, what does um, um, tension from getting a retwist do to your scalp? Like, how does that actually look um, under a microscope? How does that actually look um, in, te in terms of tension and pressure on your scalp? So I've got so many videos that I'm going to be literally doing. Like I'm back, man, I'm back. I'm not running away this time. <laughs> I didn't run away last time, but yeah, I'm not running away this time. I've got, I've got tons of videos, man. It's good to be back and to speak to you guys on camera, man. Um, it's very, very natural, 15 minutes and I can keep talking. I think I had another bit of notes to say. Let's talk about the rebranding, the relaunch of my products as well. Like um, uh, my old branding, I loved it. But I felt like it was a bit amateurish. Like for the ethos that I wanted to really inject in this year, like 
the ethos of the, of the business now is to sell premium hair, co um, hair products, like premium. When I say premium, I mean premium in its ingredients. But cut the bullshit out. Like I'm tired of seeing all these brands. I'm so tired because I've worked in this aesthetic clinic and when I, when I tell you, we know we can spot bullshit from, from, from the good products. It's so easy. Like the doctors would be literally look at the ingredients and be like, the only active ingredient is this, this and that. Everything else is bullshit. You understand? A lot of brands spend a lot of money and ingredients in making a product feel better, feel good. That's why you think it's working, but it really isn't. It's just the texture of it. So I wanted to focus on making a brand that produces premium ingredients, premium hair, um, hair products for you guys. Um, and with that, I wanted to make a small donation. So maybe I'm, I'm bouncing between how much the don donation is going to be, but it's going to be like maybe 5%, 10%, whatever it is. But for every purchase or basket purchase, um, 5% to 10% of, of, the, of the money is going to go straight to a donation. And this donation is going to be for a workshop, hair workshops. Um, right now, I'm going to start off in London, South East London is where I've raised, you understand, Peckham. So I'm going to start doing hair workshops in those areas, you understand, things like giving away 25, maybe 30 haircuts to kids under 16 or under, under what, 12 or something like that. Like um, renting out a barber shop, giving out bare haircuts, going to like the hairdressers, you understand, paying for paying for girls' hair and um, hairstyles and stuff like that. You know, someone's coming around the corner, everyone's trying to get the, the stitch braids and stuff like that. They cost like 45 a pop, in it. So raise, raise 450, that's 10 free. Break, stitch braids, you understand? So things like that, like trying to trying to make sure that I've got those charitable organ um, 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 events going on. And I've also got like hair workshops, teaching people how to self cut. Like I know I'm looking grizzly right now. Like I don't know how to self cut. So if I knew how to self cut, then I'll be able to keep myself clean. You understand? Um, um, what you call it? Other, other than self cuts, also learning how to like corn roll. You understand? So like. A lot, of, a lot of mothers that are out there don't have to corner, corner their kids' hair because it's kind of like a lost heart, a lost art, innit? So reteaching that, you understand? Reteaching that for the men as well. They don't have to corner all their own hair, you understand? So we're not all going off and paying mad prices for these hairdressers. Because right now, y'all can admit, the price the price of a retwist is crazy, but the price that some of the people are paying for haircuts nowadays? Bruh, I thought, listen, I remember the days where a haircut was no more than 20 pounds. No more, no more. Like, I, right now, I still pay 15. I'm, not, I'm never going, I'm never switching up my barber. Never switching up my barber. I pay 15 pounds. The day, I, like, right now, okay, because I've got a bit of money now and I'm working, I would, the most I'll pay is about 25. 25. And even then, I would, I would get a haircut once a month. But I'm hearing some of my friends paying 50. A 50 sheet for a haircut. Do you know how fast my hair grows? I'm paying a 50 sheet for a haircut. What, a, a, a low taper, a fade? Nah, could never, could never be me. And I know in America, it's like $80, 100, 120, tip. What? No, I can't be doing that, man. Can't, can't be doing that, man. You can't, man. Um, so yeah, I want the business to also, every, with every sale that, um, that I make, I want money to go towards those parts as well. Also, money's um, being um, brought in from my pockets as well to uh, make these events actually happen. Um, it's all gonna be free. Um, the hair workshops, I'll see how that works because I know with, with free events, people tend to book tickets and not turn up. And I would hate to have an event run where I'm running it for 30 people and all tickets are sold out because it's free and then only 15 people turn up, that would just kill me because I've literally paid money. People have raised money to literally have this event. So with the hair workshops, I think what I'll do is I'll like take people's bank details and if you don't turn up, then you, then you get charged. But if you do turn up, then it's free pretty much. So that's one section of the business. And then the other section of the business is literally hair stories. Like I want to, the same way I'm documenting my hair journey, I want you guys to be able to document your hair journey. So like, I started it off a bit on Instagram on my business page, documenting a few of my friends and local people that I've met. But now I want to take it global, man. I want to do it all across the UK, travel over to US, record different people's hair journeys, different people's hair stories. Because listen, when I talk about, if you go to my hour story section on my website, when I release it in, in May, you're going to see my story with hair care. Like I was, I, I was raised in the hair shop, like literally raised in the hair shop, my own, own the hair shop. And if I can tell you the amount of stories, yeah, that's got to do with my hair, bruh, I know, I know everyone out there has a story to do with their hair and would like to share it. And I just want to build a platform 
through the business to be able to say that. Um, but yeah, hey, I'm excited for it, man. Honestly, I'm so excited for the business. Um, I'll do more videos in the future on it as well um, because I'm, lead, I'm I'm looking to have it finished, the website finished in May, then do a pre-order system going into June, send off all the products in June, and then, yeah, it's just free, free reign until then. Um, before that, um, I'm gonna literally be dropping, dropping YouTube videos and I'm gonna set this camera up and literally just record. Record, edit, post. So if you see a video that isn't as edited properly, that's because I'm trying to get into the groove of it again, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to feel confident just posting again and not having to do, do mad edits and stuff like that. Like just get into the mood of posting, man. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed me coming back onto YouTube, you feel me, after eight months, then hey, shout out to you, man. I love the support. I love everyone that messaged me in the DMs um, telling me when I'm coming back, even in the comments on YouTube, man. You guys, I saw you guys, man. You guys almost made me shed a tear. I was like, I'm not gone. Man, I'm not gone. I'm here, man. I'm coming. Um, but yeah, man, I love it, man. Um, if you're new here and you don't know who the hell I am, then subscribe down below. Trust me, we've got more fire vids coming up. I've got my retwist video coming up as well. Um, I'm gonna get this bad boy retwisted. And I'm gonna talk a lot about male pattern boldness. I'm gonna talk about more hair journey stories, tips, tricks, everything to do with your locks, you feel me? We are back. Okay, I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. Ciao.